started busting some of the top toe tower defense myths that you probably didn't even know about. If you're excited to see these myths or didn't know they existed, make sure you guys smash that like and subscribe button. We're trying to maybe get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the month. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. First myth on this list involves none other than the Titan present man. Apparently, there's this rumor that every so often, the Titan present man actually throws down a golden present. And apparently, this golden present does a ton of damage. The rumors in the myth says that this golden present should do a total 500,000 damage. I don't know exactly how we're going to test this. I guess we're just going to wait for a boss to come out after we have a Titan present man maxed out. So I guess I'll see you when that happens. So I finally got the Titan present man placed down. And he is a ridiculously expensive unit to upgrade. He's the only godly that only has three level upgrades. I don't know why this man has this, but we're going to have to wait until we can fully max him. We have upgraded him at level two. However, I don't know if this myth lies to him at two. Apparently at level two, he does have this mystery. Yeah, I think that was it. Did you guys see that? I think he has that mystery golden gift at every level. It's just not until the max level that he does the big old 500,000 splash bomb. Wait, let's see and confirm if it actually does 500,000. I'll see you guys when I max him. It took us a long time to get here, but we got here. Time to bust this myth. Let's fully max out the Titan present man and pay attention to his presence in these toilets hell. So every once in a while, our boy should technically throw one of those gold presents. And with the gold present, it should theoretically easily kill one of these toilets out any hesitation whatsoever. I'm waiting. Okay, a vacuum toilet would be perfect. I'm not seeing a gold toilet or a gold toilet. I'm not seeing a gold present. I'm not sure if this myth is true or not. I think this one might be made up. We might fully bust this one, guys. All right. So he's currently still throwing nothing, nothing gold. I'm not, no, no gold presents. I mean, I'll, I'll wait a while, but I'm not, I'm not seeing it right now. Still have yet to see a gold present. I feel like we should have seen one by now if you were to lie to you. All right, flight, ro flying, rocket, launcher, toilet. Are you going to be getting hit with a golden present? So far, he is making it just fine. No goldie boys. You know, hey, uh, flying dual buzzsaw toilet. Please use a gold present to the face. Wouldn't you say so? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? There was the giant gold present that actually completely wiped out that buzzsaw toilet. That boss buzzsaw toilet. So wait a minute. The Titan present, man, I mean, I can't confirm it's actually 500,000 or not, but he does in fact throw a giant green present that might fully kill toilets? Did it fully kill it or did it just do an insane amount of damage? I don't know, but this myth is confirmed. Let's move on to myth number two. Myth number two can be done here as well, and it involves the Titan Clock Man. So apparently after level five with the Titan Clock Man, apparently with his little lasers that he shoots at, apparently there's a little bit of a chance he shoots a laser at you that makes you turn good. Not me, the toilet. So normally he shoots red, but apparently Apparently, there's a small, minuscule percent chance that he shoots a green laser beam at the toilets, which then forces the toilets fight against their brethren and well, kill each other. It's time to find out if this myth is true or false. So, as you can see, we have the boy maxed out here. So, we just need to pay attention to that man's little laser beam and see if he shoots out a laser at all, which then targets other toilets. What's kind of funny right now is uh, I think I need to worry about my life more than paying attention to the green lasers that shoot. All right, I'm waiting to see that green laser while also making sure I don't die. Here, I'm gonna focus on toilets, maybe. You know, this would be- Oh, I mean, it shot green! It shot green. It did shoot a green laser beam out, but I, he didn't start attacking other toilets near him. Okay, so, like, this is half confirmed, I guess? I'm gonna stop time. Okay, so look. Yeah, it got affected with some type of a green laser beam. You guys saw that. But, okay, also, why are these guys not attacking, like, attacking this welder at all? Is he invisible to them? Okay, now I'm confused. I- the green- the green- yeah, look, it, they're getting hit with that green aura effect, but they're not attacking other toilets. Okay, so for this myth, I'm gonna say it's like half confirmed. It does shoot out a random green laser. However, it doesn't make toilets attack other toilets. It might just be more of like a poisony effect thing. Let me know what you guys think about that myth down in the comments. Either way, let's move on to myth number three. Number three is actually a pretty easy one. It's that it's as simple to summon a titan present man or a godly unit than it is a legendary unit. So let's go confirm that. So if I come over here to the summoning board i have the luck permanent luck boost so it costs or it's two percent chance for me to summon a legendary unit and if i go over to the santa crate yeah you can see right there if i didn't have that luck boost it would be a it would be a one percent chance to summon this legendary here and as you can see on the santa crate it's a one percent chance to summon the titan present godly so yeah i guess that myth is correct kind of once again let's move on to myth number four the fourth myth on this list does in fact involve the trading plaza and the myth that people are telling me is that apparently they put 
secret leaks inside of the water. I don't know how I feel about this one, guys. I don't think they would hide leaks inside the water. I, I think a lot more of us would know about this if yeah. But you know what? I'm here to myth bust. Let's go ahead and find out. Do you guys think they're gonna hide mythics? Or mythics? Do you think they're gonna hide leaks inside of the water? I think that they don't. But you know what? They could. Let's go find out if they hide anything inside of that water. All right. I'm running up to it right now. And, and when I get to this bottom part, I don't see anything besides some floating toilets. You know, there's a guy already inside the waterfall. You know, I think he's looking for the freaking leak as well. Uh, whenever I go inside, uh, I'm not seeing anything. What if I zoom in? Uh, is there, a, is there a unit back there? Like a secret unit? No, I'm not seeing anything. Maybe it's at the top of the waterfall. I gotta go up here, maybe. Um, not seeing anything back here either. Oh, it's gotta be down, right? Surely it's down here. And no, I'm just on water. You know, if they were to hide some, this would be a blade. But yeah, guys, I don't know. It's not looking like they're hiding anything here. So with that being said, I'm gonna have to say that this myth is busted. There is not hidden leaks inside all. Ooh, I know. All right, I actually find this next myth really impossible to believe. But apparently, if you use two scientist TV man and you place them together, you can stack their walls on top of each other. I, I don't believe this at, at all. But screw it. I guess we'll try it. Let's go. So the scientist TV man is a cheap unit to play. So we'll place the first one down like this. Um, I don't exactly know how I'm supposed to place the other one. Uh, I guess it would just be like directly across. Unless, do I stack them in front of each other like this? We'll, we'll try it in all the ways we can. Okay, so, I mean, they're inside of each other, but they're not stacked on top of each other. I mean, I, I, I guess that's kind of stacked on top of each other. Oh, why? Okay, so, hold on. Other myth. The scientist TV man is the only unit that you can't sell. Did you, did you know that? You, you can't sell the scientist TV man for some. But nonetheless, okay, the walls aren't, okay. Well, now I'm confused. It's kind of working? Kind of not working? I guess, in a weird way, they are stacked on each other, but like, not on top of each other. They're just kind of stacked together? I will say, this is rather impressive, because you can literally walk over these walls. Man, now I'm just confused. Okay, see, we upgrade this one, and they still have all of the other camera boys there. Uh, I'm gonna say that this is a myth confirmed, because I think that is technically stacked on each other. I think they're technically stacked on each other, just not on top of each other. So, myth confirmed. This next myth is that you can still get out of the map on the lobby. So, I know you used to be able to get out of the map on the lobby in the last update, but I think they secured this one down pretty good. Uh, I mean, going up here looks like our best strategy. Maybe. Okay, we made it pretty far. Yeah, no, those borders are pretty secure. Um, uh, can we get up this tree? We can get up this tree. Okay, maybe this is how we... Okay, this is looking promising. Now, you can't jump over that barrier right now. And whoever intuited this is a genius. Okay, is this is this where... No, see, there's still a strong barrier right there, too. I don't think there's any spot where they lowered the barrier at all. This is looking like a, a myth no at the moment. See if there's any place where I can get over the barrier. Rock. Looks like all along this is a pretty solid barrier as well. All along there, pretty solid barrier. What about right? You, like, jump onto this... Uh, no. It doesn't look like you can jump onto that lip. Unless I'm just bad at... Yoink. Yeah, no, that doesn't look possible. Is it possibly white over here? No, yeah. All the blue walls have pretty solid barriers on Maybe it's this little part right here. Oh, this is looking promising. Nope, nope. Still pretty strong barrier. Is it this tree, maybe? And nope, still barrier there. Yeah, I don't know, guys. It's seeming like a no. I don't think you can get outside of the map the lobby. I will try this back area once just to see if there's any way of squeaking out. Nope, still pretty strong barrier right there. Whoever made up this myth was wrong. You cannot get outside of the map on the lobby. And the last myth on the list is that you get better luck if you like and subscribe to Hopeless right now. So if did anyone that just like to subscribe, I'm gonna summon five units and see what I could get. Go ahead and up that luck boost, baby. I have 65. That's absurd. All right. Bop. Okay, camera woman. Don't mind if I do. I love myself a nice camera woman. Uh, bop. Oh, wow. A speaker large TV man. From my memory, this is still a pretty rare unit. Yeah, dude, only 279,000 exist. I'll take a little bit of a legendary just like that. And you can get this kind of luck too if you guys smash that like subscribe. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. This is a new type of video I made. I was kind of doing the same videos over and over and over again, and I really wanted to try something new. So I thought I'd search around, look up some myths, and bust some of you. Bust some of them for you guys. I'm glad that I actually found some myths that do actually exist, and it's also cool that there were some that didn't also exist either. So it wasn't a, a, a video of a skeleton boy waffling over nothing that exists. <laughs> it actually had. Either way, without further ado, I hope you guys still have been enjoying all of the content and TTD-related stuff that I've been doing 
unshared. And if you haven't already, check out my main channel. I've been playing Blocks, Roots, and other anime-related games. I do plan to do more in the future. And check out my group on Roblox if you haven't already. So either way, without further ado, check out my recent videos that are on now. And I will see you guys again soon in my next video. Let me know if you have any more myths that you want me to- Bye!